am your host, Tiffany Spender, and this show is about creators, hustlers, everyday people that are doing their thing. So you're transitioning into a new career that you're not known for, or you're juggling a bunch of careers, entrepreneur, musician, a little bit of everything, like I am. And our first interview is with Karen Sybil. She is a marketer, she's an author, entrepreneur, she is doing her thing. We got a chance to meet her in Philadelphia while she was here talking about her book and being a part of, of a bunch of events that I was excited to attend. So check it out, Karen Sybil. Meet Karen Sybil, social media maven and founder of Always Civil Enterprise. Yo, what up? It's your boy McNeil. You're right here tuning in to Civil TV. To Civil TV. Civil TV. Civil TV. Civil TV. Civil TV. I wake up every day. I'm living life. I'm getting paid to be myself. We are here with the beautiful and lovely Karen Civil. How are you? I'm good. Excited to be in Philadelphia. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and just coming on the show to kind of talk about a little bit of what you do and what you're going to be doing in the future. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, right? Yes. So tell us, what are you known for? Um, most people know me from my website, obviously named after me, KarenSoble.com, which is all things entertainment. And then I went off and branched off and started to kind of build my empire. So I created LiveCivil.com, which is the sister site. It's all things women empowerment. And from there, you know, as I continue to build my brand and create a voice online, artists and companies would reach out to me like, listen, we need that for us. So I decided to create Always Civil Enterprise, which is short for Ace. It's basically, because um, I feel like I'm an Ace at this with marketing and thinking outside the box and just creating strategic partnerships. Um, so I was able to, you know, have clients from Mary J. Lodge to Lil Wayne to Ace by Dre to Jeezy, Nipsey Hustle, YG, Hillary Clinton. It just Louis Vuitton, it varies. Even Marcus now, so it, it, it varies in the range. Cool. So what are you looking to be known for in the future? Like you said, you work with Hillary Clinton, politics, marketing, all these different people. So you've kind of been back and forth between different things, but still focused on marketing. What are you looking to be known for? Um, just entrepreneurship. You know, we don't have to let a label define us. And, you know, it, I just find it so weird that, like, society in America, like, when a black woman, like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur, they're like, okay, what else? But, like, anybody else, like, a male counterpart can be that thing. Like, they want us to have a standard hairdresser, secretary, like this. And no, I'm an entrepreneur and a CEO. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> yes, right? that's, that's who I am and that's what I do. Yes. Exactly. So, how do you manage all your different brands? So, beyond social media, social media, as we know, is the end all be all to kind of manage different things. But, how else do you manage? I have, I have a great, wonderful team around me of um, dynamic women that I have um, hired. Because, one thing I want to make sure is I don't want to ever be a minority in my company. I want to make sure there's a lot of us, there's enough of us, and we're all continuing to grow. And, um, you know, just, just giving us a chance to run the race, you know, this in this in this thing called life. So, you know, I definitely make sure I have an incredible, diverse um, you know, who have their own companies, who, who want to be a part of this growing business and understanding you know, we are we aren't like-minded people. You know, um, understand the ideologies of what's happening in culture, entertainment, and in just certain industries. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. So, what do you think of that saying? Uh, mass, uh, jack of all trades, master of nothing. You know, that's the saying of you're doing too many things at one time. You're not really mastering anything. Um, How do you feel about that? I, I definitely feels like. Um, you know, there is there is a point and concept to it. So it's like when I first started, I wanted to just master my website. I was like, this is what I want to start. I was like, it'll be able to open the doors for me to do other things. At the end of the day, I love marketing. I love partnerships, and, and you know, and with marketing, there's so many different hubs, which is you know, your social media, your PR, your things of that nature. So I get it. But definitely, when I started, I was just making sure I mastered one one thing that would allow me to open up doors to do other things. Cool. Yes. So, what advice would you give someone that is transitioning either to a new career that they're not known for, mm -hmm. or juggling multiple things at one time? Um, first, when you're transitioning to a new career, new career, there's nothing wrong with starting. Off. You know, don't put an age limit, a time limit on nothing. People start over. People, um, you know, I remember like Oprah first got her first gig at like 30. Right. You know what I mean? And of course, everybody else that's the older age, age. right? Yeah, because now because we have such young millennials, people think, oh, you have to be a millionaire by 17, 18. 
no, take your time, don't worry about anybody else's race. And to the person who's juggling a lot, time management is very important. Just make sure that oh. you're spending on time, you're spending your time on things that matter. Also, yes. the last question, what do you hope to inspire with all the things that you're involved in? So you can inspire in different ways, whether it's jumping into marketing, jumping into civic engagement. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to inspire? Um, I just want people to, um, like when they see me, just as well, um, do not put a label on yourself. You know, you don't have to, you don't ever have to think, okay, I can only do this, I can only do that. Like, listen, I'm a girl who was helping Hillary Clinton campaign and can be working on a project with the YG. So, you know, you can be very versatile and just understand we have the power of our voice, the power of our dollar, and just not putting a limit on your capabilities, your success, your time, and yeah, just 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 don't put that limit. Right. Yeah. Because awesome. we, we we hinder ourselves before we even get a chance to start. Right. Before yeah. anybody even asks us the question of what we're doing. Yeah, we, we already take our out the race. Right. Yeah. So let's not do that. That's important. Yeah. This is Tiffany Stanner. You are watching Creators Can't Be Labeled. And let's remember, let's not label these creators such as Karen Civil, but let's explore their many passions.